Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Jack and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we're at Hack Pen Horse and we're back on the tet pretty much. So this is where we finished on the first episode with my dad and Richard. And so now we're back for episode two of the series. Let's get into it. We're just getting ready now. The plan for today is basically, I've got a friend's house in Gloucester that I'd really like to go and visit. I haven't seen him in ages. And it's really boring to go via the road. So this is where we exactly where we finished. If you remember in the last video, that is the coppice of trees that we camped out in and had a terrible night's sleep. So we're going back down there. There's a left, blast down the track, blast down that way again. And then it creates kind of this, for want of a better term, ball sack kind of figure of eight shape and then we start heading towards Gloucester I've never never kind of been this way to be honest this is as far towards Wooten Bassett as I've been since the the last episode and so literally it's all virgin territory I have no idea what's going on let's get straight into it really excited glad to be back out on the bikes go and hit the subscribe button if you like it and if you want more Back out. It's actually really sunny today, so it was forecast for wind, rain, but yet again the south provides me have sunny weather, but it is still way too windy, so if you sat here watching the video wondering why the hell aren't you out flying jack, it's because actually number one I enjoy riding motorbikes, but number two we bought these bikes to basically get out and film whilst um, you know whilst the weather's bad and stuff like that so we can be productive so when it's not flyable during summer or during winter more importantly we can get out and still provide some content and hopefully you guys enjoy it because we're trying to be more of an adventure channel you know not necessarily just paragliding primary chin and a bit of skydiving you know I want to do all the adventure sports because that's what I'm really into this is it, start of the trail again. There's a route off Ford KA. What the hell they were doing there? Okay, back to it man. How exciting. I just nearly ripped my angle off in that rut though. Jesus. It's funny, you forget how hard it is on the arms, you know, already five minutes in, my arms are killing me already. I'll be like Arnie by the end of the day. Oh, that's so deep. Oh, yes. KTM just prevails again and again and again. Whoa! Oh, ho, ho. you all right? That was in that was insane! <laughs> Woo! Look at that! I bet it's <laughs> no way the KTM is in a pickle already! My back end went everywhere! Alright Rich, you're gonna have to help me with this! Amazing! That was insane, wasn't it? Oh mate, I thought you were high sided for sure. 8 minutes 28 into the tet and we're off. Yeah. And that is why the KTM is just an amazing beast. I fall off at 20 miles an hour and nothing matters. Off we go! Okay, gonna be a bit more careful with my line trees now because it is really slippy. This is a seriously tough trail. 
might not look it on camera but I got knee pits, mate, sweaty knee pits. It's, it's unheard of. Oh. Wish they just need a big, like, vent here. There is, I mean, aside from the fact that I've collected some barley. Incredible. KTM, I know it's an expensive bike, and you're probably thinking, what the hell is that lunatic doing riding such an expensive bike off-road like I am? It's because it's designed to you and takes falls incredibly well. Oh yeah, it's so much fun. It's funny, I've never really been out in the wet in this. Wow, this is a massive rug, look at this. That's crazy. Oh, really? Really? Oh. Look at this sludge fest up here. So Rich says I have to hit the bloody water. This is going to be extremely annoying. I don't know if I've got the capabilities for this, to be honest. Ah, I think it's very deep, Richard. It's very deep. Can't believe Rich has me going through this, man. I feel like I'm going to fall off. Oh, this is really scary. This is really scary. <laughs> <laughs> it deep. Told you. That's fine. You can get through there. <laughs> that's that's wet. I didn't look at this bit. <laughs> <laughs> now it looks like an off-road bike. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> I nearly went over my handlebars. I can't believe I let you encourage me to do that. Look at this, I'm in porridge. I don't think I've ever seen ground like that. <laughs> if it pulls itself out of there, I'll be quite impressed. <sighs> Without me having to get in and pull. I can't believe I let you talk me into that. Very good fun, yeah. For you. I nearly died. Here we go again! No way! <laughs> what are your tyre pressures at? That just slipped right up. It did, didn't it? <laughs> it can't be me. It can't be Jack. It can't be. It cannot be. be Jack. Look at it. Now it's looking like a real bike. Hell yeah! <laughs> right. <laughs> tyre pressure down. Bike up. Three, two, one. <laughs> Again, not could nothing happen to it. This is gonna be a great ad for KTO. We just put your crash reel together.
Oh dear. <laughs> oh, try not to fall off again, Jack. These trails are just ridiculous. And again. <laughs> Mate, these tires are garbage. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Hell yeah, we're back back on the slippy trails. Oh, okay, I feel like we're on the road again now. I much prefer the dry muck, good in the wet, I'll be honest. <sighs> cool, now we just chill out for a bit. Oh, going right. Right, now where are we off? What kind of horrible road have we got us on now? Right, it kind of feels like we're making some headway again after I had pretty much two crashes in, God, a minute? A minute of riding something stupid like that? Ain't nobody dope as me, I'm just so fresh, so clean, so fresh and so clean, clean. It's funny riding down here or doing anything cool with your mates or whatever you just have certain songs pop over your head stop muttering them to yourself regardless of whether you've got music playing or not or at least I do anyway it's hard to believe that this is legal just going nuts off road with your friends Here we go again. Off road, there's the byway sign, which means we're allowed to be on here. And we're off in these lovely woodlands. Wow, what a view that is. Most people would assume that we're not allowed to be here, but thankfully most people have been very, very nice sourcing. We've not had anyone shout in, most people smile. See, she's quite friendly. Oh, what a good day though. It's only been two hours, come off three times. Can you believe that? You guys watching must think, what an idiot. Oh, yes, Rich. See, friendly people all around. I like being in the film. Job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I fall off a lot. <laughs> so we're just having a break. Monster Munch in. First one. Yeah. Yeah. Squashies. Then I thought we'd just have a little chill out and um, a couple of readies. Hell yeah. Let's get wired. <laughs> mm. Oh, mate, they're so good. It's a sugar free tropical. It's amazing. But to be honest, someone wants to give me a stuntman role because I came off the bike remarkably well. Anyone needs any like crash montages or me to turn up and crash a bike, I'm your man. Give me a call. So, the time's, oh yeah, three o'clock. It's the same number of crashes. Three crashes, three, three o'clock. Um, that's a coincidence. Basically, we've done like three hours of the tech we're near Malmesbury, is that right? I'm absolutely destroyed. Loving it though, the Tet is, it's un unbelievable that it's legal. It's absolutely unbelievable, I still can't believe it, you know. It's, it's just phenomenal, you know. These are the, you know, part of the same byways and trails that we took Ash out on the other day and he had his Defender on it, so you could bring your Defender straight down here if you wanted to. 
Um, we might have something really fun in the pipeline that I'm not going to tell you about. Are you excited for it, Rich? I can't wait for it either. We might have something very exciting in the pipeline. All power to the Trans-European Trail organisation for setting up these trails, the volunteers for driving them all. You know, there's, there's volunteers in every country that go and drive them all to mark out these routes and they change all the time, which is just amazing. It's like the best legal fund you can have in the UK, I'm absolutely sure of it. Off we go. Whoa, no, no, no. I've had enough fallings over today, Rich. Oh yeah, hell yeah, I love a bit of downhill. <laughs> I just got COVID! I got COVID! i tell you what guys, if you're liking the content, you've got to go and comment and subscribe, tell us what you like. I'd really appreciate it just because doing paragliding and base jumping and all these different adventures is what I love most. I just slipped off the foot pegs is what I love most um, but you know to get out on the bikes I appreciate it's not exactly in my I don't know my follower my following on YouTube didn't start out subscribing for the bike content and so I'd really appreciate it if you let me know whether you like or you don't like it and if you do like it then show the support just because it helps me to decide what I show you guys and what I don't show you guys and whether I should keep making this kind of content or not here we are, back on a main already. Hell yeah! <laughs> on now? Yeah. Am I going first? Yeah. Definitely the way I'm gonna die. Oh, that's what was biting me. Oh my lord. <laughs> that's horrendous. Right, that's us. We're gonna call it a day. We didn't make it to Gloucester. I think we're pretty much halfway between where we set off and Gloucester. And it kind of just shows you that when you fall off three times, it really does hammer how quick, hammer your average speed. <laughs> um, we had to pick the bike up again and everything, but also you just can't make like make distance on trails really just because they're, they're quite slow in general even though we were hitting speeds at times um but absolutely epic day really really stoked there's another chunk of the tech knocked off for the series we've marked this location so when we come back and do another video in the next couple of weeks we're going to come back here and carry on on the trail we've got loads of exciting plans coming up we've got more of the tech we've got another vehicle coming we're going to surprise you with a little series on that shortly We've got another big, big series that I'm working on with a bunch of different athletes from different action sports. That's gonna be really fun to film and just an all round amazing summer. So hope you guys subscribe, come see what other content we're gonna be creating. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one.